Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. As you all know, on this channel, we cover different type of interview question asked in various placement and job interviews. So subscribe to our channel if you want to prepare for your upcoming interview. In this series, we will cover different type of puzzle and quant interview questions which are constantly being asked in analytics job interview, quant interview and many other different type of interviews. So today's question is to calculate the expected number of coin tosses required to get two consecutive heads. Yes, this is very common question and asked in several interviews. So let's see a step-by-step -step solution how we can go about this. So there can be different kind of scenarios. So let's see each one of them. The first case is getting two heads on the first and the second trial respectively. Right? In the two trials, we are able to achieve our goal, right? Initially, we wanted two consecutive head and we got two consecutive head. So here the number of coin tosses would be two and the probability of occurrence will be one by four. Now let's see if we get tail on the first trial itself. But here we have wasted one trial and still we are there where we started. We still want two consecutive heads. Now let's see the third case. When the tail comes at the second trial, in this case, we have wasted two trials and we are at the same place where we started. We still wanted to have two consecutive heads, right? I think you might observe a pattern here. Let's see a more detailed solution. Let's assume that expected number of coin tosses to get two consecutive heads is E of 2. Let's see the first case. We are tossing a coin for the very first time and we got a tail because we got a tail. We just wasted one chance and again we have to toss the coin for two consecutive head, right? The problem of kind of reset and we still have to get two consecutive head. Now the expected number of coin toss would be E of 2 plus 1 because we have just wasted one chance and the probability would be 1 by 2 of getting the tail on the very first toss. Now let's talk about the second case. That is on the first toss we got head, on the second toss we got tail. Here we have wasted two chances because getting the tail on the second toss has kind of ruined the head we got on the first trial or toss. We still need to get the two consecutive head. So here the expected number of toss would be E of 2 plus 2 and the probability of getting would be 1 by 4 because we have wasted two chance. Now let's see about the third chance where we got two consecutive head on the first and the second toss respectively. We have got two consecutive head. There would be further no need of tossing the coin because we got what we wanted. So expected number of coin tosses would be two and the probability will be one by four. These are the three possible cases, right? So this is the equation which we have to solve. E of two, the expected number of toss to get two consecutive head equal to one by two multiply by E of 2 plus 1. E of 2 is expected number of coin toss to get two consecutive head and plus 1. Plus 1 because we have lost that first toss because it got a tail. And the probability is 1 by 2. All the terms now you will be able to understand. Solving this you will get the number 6. The expected number of coin tosses would be 6 to get the two consecutive head. Now you will say in the interview let's say you got a number of three consecutive head or five consecutive head. How will you solve about it? Right, so let's think about the generalization solution. I hope you have seen the pattern. For example, if you want n number of consecutive head and the kth position and the kth position where k is less than n tail come. In that case, we have wasted the k trials, right? And you have to start again. This will be the equation where e of n equal to 1 by 2 e of n plus 1 where tail come at the first trial. And the probability will be 1 by 2. And if the tail come at the kth trial, we have wasted k trials, probability will be 1 by 2 to the, to the power k and EFN will be expected number of coin tosses. And solving this, the generalization you will come over 2 raised to the power n plus 1 minus 2. I hope you have learned something new from this video. If you have any doubt, please do comment in the comment section and I will try to resolve your queries. Please subscribe to our channel for more such questions and till then keep learning and keep watching.